before when life was in transition and we were living with family members. Life was very routine, but a chaotic routine. It wasn't really like stable. It wasn't like a stable thing. So it was kind of just all over the place. After the WIN program, I learned how to persevere and fight for the things that I want. I was working and had been kind of, well, playing with money to try to make ends meet. And I reached a place where I couldn't do it any longer. And I knew then that something different had to happen. I called my sister, who had, was in the process of purchasing a home. And I asked if we could come and live with her. I thought, you know, I've got to do something. So I started trying to look for work on my own. It was not very successful. And that's when I decided that I would call Wynn. When I found out about Wynn, I saw a flyer at the library. The things that it said in the flyer uh, just kind of really s stuck with me. Um, I had been at a, a job for quite a while and I just, I knew I didn't want to do that job for the rest of my life, but, um, I just didn't know what it, what it was I needed to do. And so I thought this was an opportunity to kind of figure, figure out what I needed to do next. I knew that I wanted something uh, more purposeful for my life, uh, for myself and for my kids. As I looked at some of those things that were on the flyer, they, you know, they talked about the training, um, the job search, uh, things like that. During that time, I uh, just, I was really reflecting on just life in general. And so uh, I finally decided to call. Our focus has always been financial self-sufficiency for women and the choices they make and how they get there by offering resources and counseling and just really good nurturing and know what the tools they need to actually be successful in the workplace. Wynn helped me apply for state assistance, uh, made sure that the girls were in daycare, and I just knew I have to pick myself up to move forward. And my mission had really been about not letting the girls know that anything was different other than, oh, mommy and daddy are going to not live together. We aren't gonna be together for a while. We're gonna go live with your aunt and uh, try to make the best home that, that we could. After when um, I made a lot of changes. One was, going back to school. I left my kid's father. I started getting involved in my community at my kid's school. Um, there was a lot of big changes that I made in my life. It was hard, but um, they really just, just started this fire inside of me that helped me know that I that I could do this. You know, I've, I've, I've fallen before, but I they helped me know I could get back up and keep moving forward. The future of WEN and the excitement in our new facility is about continued partnership with multitude of organizations, but also to strengthen the alliance and uh, recognize that women will have more and more choices moving forward and that we will be here to manage those choices and always be that resource. I volunteered for a year and then had the opportunity, was called and asked to come and interview for the instructor position. It felt like home when they, you know, they offered the job. It's always felt like home. It's felt like this job was waiting for me to go through my journey of divorce, losing a home, uh, having to be on state assistance. And I was excited when they hired me in August of 91, and I'm excited today. My name is Lynette Williams. I'm Vice President of Programs and Services, and I graduated when in 1991. My name is Courtney Moon. I'm the daughter of Annette Williams, who graduated from the WIN program. It doesn't stop with just the woman in the program. It trickles down to their family, their friends, and again, WIN is something that you can touch on at various stages of your life. Wynn had a huge impact on my kids because of the changes I made. I wouldn't have done those things if I hadn't come here. My name is Rose, I'm Nina's mom, and I'm a Wynn graduate of 2010. Wynn helps empower women in the community and they're with them every step of the way, helping them be where they want and need to be in the future. I'm really proud of where my mom is at today.